Hey everyone, and it is that time again to speak about a potential next Planet Zoo pack and very much to speak about the potentially last Planet Zoo update pack or DLC pack. And this very much is going to be a special one, uh, no matter how we put this. It's going to be the last one or it is going to be a special one because it's going to lead the way into even more in the future. It is not 100% certain. But this video is going to focus on if this is the last one and I do take inspiration from the last Planet Zoo pack we ever got. So this video is going to talk about a bigger than usual pack and I'm going to explain this along the way with all the different animals, uh, the reason why I chose them. And just before I will start and give you the name of my assumption, um, just for those of you who don't know, the last pack of Planet Coaster was the Ghostbusters pack, which was um, obviously a IP-based pack, which wasn't the first time. Uh, they already had some IP-based stuff in, in the past, but uh, nevertheless, it wasn't only IP-based, it was also content-wise almost double as big as all the packs before and it has been absolutely mega. The items in this pack were absolutely great, the rides were perfect, they implemented even a new type of mascot and a new type of staff member, um, they implemented a lot of other stuff in there, so it was a very very good last pack and it brought a lot more to the table than expected. And Based off of that, I will speak about this pack now. So, the name of the pack is going to be the Zoology Pack. And why, I will explain on the next chart. So, we will first of all have a couple of animals. You can see this number is a lot higher than usual. So, for the animal packs, we have a 7 plus 1. Um, and for the uh, normal packs, the scenery packs, we have a 4 plus 1. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the plus 1 means 7 habitat animals plus 1 exhibit. And the same goes for the other pack, it's 4 habitat animals plus 1 exhibit. Now, in my specific case, we are having 8 habitat animals and three exhibit animals. I'm going to explain why I still believe this is um, doable and also why it is realistic. The price tag I would assume for this pack is either $17.99 uh, in pound or $19.99 in dollar slash euro, which I believe is still a fair price tag for what I am at least thinking this could be or should be at least in my uh, in my wishes, you know, and then there will also be a scenery pack which is going to be a little bit smaller than usual But more about that as we talk about this now in the next couple of slides We're going to talk about every single bit I'm going to go through this in several steps because these animals I'm going to show you are Well, they're sorted in a certain way and this is why the, I will not reveal them all at once We have to talk about them as a uh, in, in steps because that's gonna reveal a bit more what I thought about about. And let me point this out before we start. Let me point this out. This is the very much, not the first time, but I've never been so clueless. I've never been so uh, much left in the dark. I do know that there is this meta wish list on the forums which almost became a little bit of the Bible of all the packs. And Frontier has followed this meta wish list pretty closely. And this is the reason why most of the animals you'll see are in this wish list. Not all of them though, but most of them are in the wish list. And I did pick a couple of favorites, but I did also pick some of those who are very much down in the list. But again, I will explain why. But without further ado, let's jump into the first row. And the first row is a copy paste row. Now, I already said a couple of seconds ago that I believe it is doable. And this is part of the reason. I think it makes a lot of sense to have animals in this pack which are highly requested but which base off of an already existing rig, already existing model, so they basically do a reskin and I am kind of fine with that if we get for example those three which is the South American Quaddy and we have the Black Howler Monkey which is also pretty high on the list and we have the Ocelot which I think would be a beautiful addition as the last cat in the game. Um, I would love all three of them and I would also be very fine if they take the existing rigs of cats, monkeys and um, yeah, I guess it's kind of the ant eater slash red panda what you would use for 
um, the South American Quadi, but uh, they can also use the same animations and just, you know, animate the tail a little bit differently. So I, I'd be very happy with that. So I don't really need to talk too much about those three because these three would actually be a bit of the simple additions and now don't get me wrong i'm not sure if they did but i assume that you know on the course of making the other packs potentially they had animals already started which didn't make it into a pack this is just normal it wouldn't be very it would be very curious very confusing if they never had like an animal that didn't make it to a pack we even saw that in the data once that the um, king penguin has made it into the game and the emperor penguin which was one of the first uh, data we found about deep diving animals in this game and it never made it to the game it was basically replaced by the king penguin so um, i assume that these three animals could be recycled animals from the past that didn't make it into certain packs the next row is going to be filled by three very, very high um, animals on the list, on the meta wish list. And I'm going to start with the one I just built in a habitat for a couple of uh, weeks ago. And this is the sea otter. I do believe that this would be a wonderful addition. Um, it wouldn't be a copy paste from the existing otter because uh, the sea otter is a little bit different in terms of how it behaves, how it swims, and they have some very unique animations. Um, I, I'm, you know, I'm saying in animations, but that should should be replaced by the word behavior. They have some unique behaviors that would be. Um, required that they get some new animations, and I would love to, you know, have a let's 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 say it's an advanced model of the otters you know that they would take the existing otter and create a wonderful sea otter out of it the walrus or walrus or walrus i have no idea how you pronounce that in english correctly um again isn't just a one by one copy from the seal or the sea lion um there's a bit more work needed for this specific animal and so um this is why it is this row and i would love to see it it was one of my biggest uh, requests in the past already and I, I really think that this would be super super cool to have and last but not least another birdie bird this is the uh, secretary bird and uh, it is currently on the highest point in the list I wouldn't put it there but I wouldn't put it too far down either so uh, secretary bird would be wonderful and lovely as a habitat animals animal the last two on the list are completely new animals to the game well not maybe not completely new but we do have the Chinese giant salamander um, which is a animal that lives in the water but can actually get out of the water um, so it would potentially work with the semi-aquatic system already implemented into the game but it you know is a very interesting choice because this would be something we've not in the game as of a type of animal and would be super interesting to build habitats for them because they would be down in the water and would be maybe able to swim even but they would most of the time stay on the ground and just move a little bit um, and you can decorate like an underwater habitat for them because then they can basically stay there for a while um, which I would think is a completely new type of habitat you can build and I would love to see that and the last one and potentially the furthest stretch on the habitat animal list is the green sea turtle now you know that we've got mods for them which you know kind of work but then again don't mm, but i feel like this is potentially the best combination of fully deep diving animals that would work in the current system of the game because we don't have the function to have like full bo body water body tanks because we need something some part like a little part needs to be land um, so that the animals can go in and technically that could be done with the uh, sea turtle they only would require a super high likeliness to be in the water for the long, longest time. But, you know, imagine you create like a tiny little beach for them or just like a tiny sliding platform to get into the water, which is basically the platform where the keeper can get in and drop off the animals and put the, water, put the food and stuff. Um, that would definitely work. And so I think this is, for me personally, 
um, the one animal that builds the bridge between deep diving and the existing system. I think that that is the furthest we can get uh, with the animals on the list. And there have been others I would have loved to put in here. Um, for example, the manatee, uh, you know, and, and like a whale shark or something like that. However, um, I think, and this is my, you know, this is my personal opinion. Uh, I, I, I love... I would love to be proved wrong, but my personal opinion is that they will not bring in a completely new system now, because if they end support potentially afterwards, you wouldn't bring in a new system. Um, so my assumption for this pack is everything has to work within the limitations that the game already offers. You know, animation-wise, everything is everything is doable, but the the core system, and as we don't have a fully deep dive system, they wouldn't add that. And the same goes for birds. However. What a wonderful segue. I found a solution, at least somewhat, and um, maybe it's biased, but I would go for these three exhibit animals. And I'm talking about three walkthrough exhibit animals. The choice to go for the parrot, the um, actually not for the um, snow owl or so, but for the burrowing owl, uh, owl and for the hummingbird. I think those three, and that is a bit of, you know, <laughs> maybe a little bit too agorist, like I just... I just feel like these three would offer the modders the best variety of, of animations <laughs> um, if they bring them in and these three birdies would be different enough to separate them very nicely from each other and have three different types of animated birds in the walkthrough exhibit that can be styled after your liking. Um, all of them, well, well, to be fair, maybe the owl not that much, but all of them can come with a lot of variants in terms of their appearance, uh, which again would give us a bit of a better choice and more variety and more replayability. So I uh, I think this choice is obviously very strategic from my side, very unlikely if you ask me, but you know, I, I am allowed to do that here, so here you go, that is my choice, and I feel like that would be awesome uh, to have the, those three as walkthrough exhibit animals, and uh, yes, I feel like, you know, if you look at this, this is a, this is a stretch because I'm now talking about you know you could end the video here and say well 1999 go that that's it you have basically double the amount of animals almost and so you know normally we have eight and five that equals obviously um to 13 and now over here we have um you know eight and three so considering that p couple of pieces for it that would be almost uh, the same but um as i have some pieces in here, which we have to talk about in a second, um, this would become even bigger. But as I said, most of the animals uh, can be based off of an existing rig. Three of them can actually be taken as a copy paste and just reskin, and uh, another three can be done with a couple of uh, you know um, adaptions, I should say, and and uh, changes. So let's go to what I think could be the scenery part of this pack. And this is that. This is, or uh, these two shots are actually um, concept shots from the new orangutan area in the Dresden Zoo. I think it's still not fully finished. Um, I l I'd love to go there. Also, a little fun fact. Um, they have a orangutan sign on the forefront, which is exactly the one that is in Planet Zoo. It's, it's so funny. It's like also like the, the vines and stuff uh, around. You can literally build the exact same thing in Planet Zoo. And for a split second, I thought that they had have actually used Planet Zoo as a basis for the concepts, but uh, you can tell that they're looking different. However, um, these concepts are just not placeholders, but basically blueprints what I would assume a brilliant uh, zoology pack would bring to the game in terms of pieces. Let me quickly elaborate on that. I don't think we need a whole bunch of new pieces because effectively the game has almost everything and some of the packs we had in the past brought in a lot of wonderfully um, styled and stylized and, and themed pieces which are lovely to use but it's not exactly how zoos nowadays work. Yes, the theming increases but I feel like at some point Frontier got a little bit too far carried away by the um, strategy they had on Planet Coaster, which for theme parks it, it works a lot better with all these themes, but um, 
I mean, they did a stellar job with the Twilight Pack, as I said in the past. Um, for me personally, the, the framing as a Twilight Pack with all the spooky stuff and so on still feels weird to me. But knowing that all these pieces are so super useful, um, I, can definitely, I can definitely agree with the pack. However, in this specific case over here, ending the game, I would love to see a whole bunch of, well, basic zoo pieces. And what I'm saying is, I am very sure that they have a bunch of pieces that, again, didn't make it to the game in other packs. A lot of very generic pieces, you know, railings and poles and, and concrete variants and different stone textures. Hell, even different types of concrete pathings, you know. Um, I, I'm using some mods for it, but for the basis ga a basic game, I would love to see different variants um, for, for just the path, you know, just a, not, not style path. We don't need any very crazy texture, just a couple of variants of how the concrete could look, you know, a bit of tarmac, a bit of, uh, you know, like with the studios pack in uh, Planet Coaster back in the day where we got like three different shades of the tarmac and of, of the asphalt. So that was lovely. Um, and then a couple of uh, plants, you know, for the, as you can see, maybe even these type of fake plants we already got with the aquatic pack. They had with like two pieces, but very inconsistent. And so maybe like a whole range of fake plants uh, for the interior and also for some areas to, to you know, um, make that happen. Uh, what I would also love to see is an, a whole bunch of new ropes, like a couple of more rope pieces, maybe even climbable rope pieces um, in different in different variants because the rope pieces we have in the game are all very restricted. The ones that look good are non-climbable and the ones that are climbable are very restricted because of they have a very, very very heavy um, bending like they are like these um, hanging ones like only have two different radius um, that is that is not enough so maybe like a new variants of, of ropes a couple of very common bushes and trees maybe just like, like an extension of the very common ones um, as you can see over here in this upper picture maybe even a couple of new seating options for kids and guests you know maybe one or two more of these wonderful little education um, things for kids maybe that is part of the free update though but this is something i would love to see a couple of more like art installation pieces maybe as you can see with the fake bamboo in here or maybe the you know um these kind of rounded um glass railings for for this specific area on the top you can see there um maybe a couple of more fake logs as you can see like we have this one big big log in the scenery items which uh, everyone uses to the max but why can we not have a couple of fake log pieces you know we've got fake rocks or four rock pieces why do we not have four log pieces um that would be lovely like just you know filling the gap of very common zoo pieces maybe even more glass panels with a couple of different railings to it a bit of a couple of barriers you know um these things uh, would absolutely bring something to the game more than any other themed pack could ever do and this is why i would think this is the perfect zoology pack in that way because that just enriches the overall experience as a zoo game you know rounding up the whole thing as a zoo game this is why the pack also features um, animals from almost every aspect of the zoology i know we are missing fish i know we are missing amphibians but that that is something you know I didn't want to stretch it out even more. I would have loved to put more one more reptile in here, to be honest, but um, I couldn't decide to go with one, and I think even bigger is is way too much of a stretch. But I mean, you can comment if there's any amphibian. What would you love to see in here, or reptile? What is something you would love to see in here as a reptile? Um, you know, and which animal would you maybe switch out for that? But as of the pieces, to just finish that point, I would love to see like something like the con like almost a mixture of three different things we already have in the game uh, the first one being the original planet zoo pack which is not a pack but this is the og planet zoo um theme in the game which i think is great um then it's the definitely the conservation pack which brought in a lot of great backstage items and stuff like that um a, a very solid pack very nice in terms of all the pieces you can um you can use um, and then also the African pack brought a lot of great things to it. So maybe it's like a mixture of those three things um, that basically brought in a lot of great pieces. And again, 
maybe they have a whole bunch of pieces that never made it into the game that they can use to en enrich this whole um, asset. And yeah, maybe you could also, maybe you don't need the African pack per se. Maybe you go with the aquatic pack because the aquatic pack also brought a lot of great zoo elements, the uh, very typical zoo railing, a very typical zoo element with the four rocks, which the four rocks almost make the aquatic pack a must by themselves. Um, so yeah, this is for the zoology pack and very briefly, not too long, I wanted to talk about a potential free update that goes along. I already talked about a couple of enrichment pieces. Um, there is really not that much I, um, I, I think we need. But the one thing I, th I would see as a nice little touch would be a complete netting set. Like a, like a completely, uh, you know, way more netting pieces. Um, we had a couple of mesh pieces along the way. We had a couple of netting pieces with the walkthrough exhibits, but they kind of don't do it. Um, so like a netting pack would be awesome. Uh, just, you know, to go along with the birds maybe. And then there's one thing, and this is just very random that came to my, that came to my head. Uh, is a um, water uh, dispenser kind of thing. This is something you always see in zoos and like in theme parks and stuff. And I don't know why it's not like it's never been thought about. I know that people have been doing this as a UGC piece in Planet Coaster. And uh, I would love to see that. Maybe the interaction works the same way as with the enrichment pieces for the kids. I always say enrichment, it's like ed education pieces for the kids. Um, and yeah, that's almost it. Like, I, may, maybe a couple of animals that still don't have the deep dive can, re, you know, finally receive the deep dive. Um, and then the last but not least, there are a couple of unique elements to certain animals in the game that that really doesn't make sense that only they have them. For example, the um, uh, the Aimer Leopard is the only big cat that has this very typical big cat chilling animation on a log, like where the one paw is hanging down and, you know, very chillaxing. Um, that's the only one, so it would make sense if every other big cat would have it. Um, and the same goes for some other animations uh, to certain animals. So for example, that only, I, I believe, was a clouded leopard. It's the only um, cat that can use the, uh, the hammock piece equally to the sun bear. It would also make sense that some other bears, especially the panda, um, would be able to use the hammock because they they are literally everywhere in any zoo you, you'll see them in hammocks so that would be lovely but uh yeah that's it i don't want to make the video even longer than it already is i hope you enjoyed this pack and now it's up to you to tell me what do you think about this pack do you think it's realistic for the price tag i mentioned the 90.99 one uh would you love this pack would you buy this pack and if not and um if you have anything that what you would do different and if you think I'm completely on the wrong wrong way let me know in the comments and please say what you think is a um, you know context in which you would see the next update and last but not least do you think it's the last pack do we believe it is the last pack some of the some of the words they have said in the two frontier unlocks so far actually left me behind with some mixed feelings I'm not as certain anymore that this is going to be the last pack. They kind of left the door open a little bit. You never know, Frontier changes entirely. Um, so maybe there is a tiny little chance. I still cannot believe it because of the console version. You, like, imagine you would do that. You would have to bring this to two platforms, which just kind of doubles the amount of work for, you know, for the team uh, with every update they bring. So the only thing I see, but you know, the only option would be to keep these updates coming to PC first and then to console, which they shouldn't do that. You know, that, that's not how you treat your clients and your customers and your gamers and your fans uh, when you finally, you know, bring in the console and then you should treat them all equally. Um, and also, I, I do think that this update will be released with the launch, like maybe not available, but it, it's going to be released somewhat around the launch of Planet Zoo. So it will already be edited into the game with the console edition. So they don't have to do that again. Uh, but yeah, so again, let me know what you think about my ideas and do you, do you think it's good? Do you like the animal choice? Do you like the scenery choice? 
let me know in the comments down below and I'm there to read it and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and so thank you for watching and just a little uh, friendly reminder if you miss any of the DLCs um, of Planet Zoo up till now please check out my instant gaming link in the description because they are all super super low on price at the moment um, for almost all of them are under two euros or three euros so just grab them for almost nothing um, even those you maybe have hesitated to get now uh, just as the last one and yeah I you know I, I keep rambling I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was fun doing it. I uh, hope you like the uh, graphical uh, realization of it. And yeah, have a good one. Goodbye, everyone.